Well, hello, and thank you for taking this time out to talk to me. I'm Amanda from Guide for Moms, and I just have to say I loved it. I loved everything about the series. So yeah, first you. question is, you know, for both of you, what drew you to the project? Go ahead, Archie. Okay, so when I first got this script incoming, um, when I first read it, I thought, this script is weird. <laughs> Mom, why did you... It is bizarre. You get so this? <laughs> it was very bizarre, in my opinion. But as um, I got more time in and started to discover more and more about the story, I became more inclined to it because I loved um, how beautiful and how original the story was and the um, incredible message that it sends out to people. For me, uh, it started all with the artist, Toph Masary, uh, who I've known for years, because he was a, a member of this online community that I started called Hit Record. And he's such a great illustrator and animator and writer that I came to him and I said, if you could do anything, what would you do? And what he came up with was Wolf Boy and the Everything Factory. So for me, it's been just a years long process of supporting his vision. And it's a dream come true to see it now out on, on Apple TV Plus and, and letting the world, you know, get to watch it. Couldn't agree more. I, I mean, I loved it. And, and like I said, the message and everything, which is why, Joseph, I wanted to like start with this, like some dialogue, you know, Lux Craft, and it says, you know, think of this as a collaboration, a conversation. And Wolf Boy says, how can I have a conversation if no one uh, will listen to me? And which you reply, how can you have a conversation if you won't listen to them? Which I was just like, wow, so powerful, such a great message, and especially mm -hmm. in today's climate, you know? So that's mm -hmm. why I wanted to know if you, you know, had any input into the script and also, you know, how do you hope these lessons kind of resonate with the viewers? Sure, yeah, it was, I, I can't claim to be the leader at all in, in this story. I was very much a supporter and just giving my input. Um, and, and credit is due to Toff as well as to Edward Jesse, who also created the show and their whole team of writers. Um, but I, I do love that message and it's part of why I wanted to support Toff in the first place was because he always comes from a place of sincerity and heart. And he is such a proponent of using your imagination and your creativity to do good in the world. And, uh, and the quote you just mentioned about having a conversation and, and being able to listen, these are, these are crucial parts of what it means to be creative together with other people, which is what Hit Record has always been about and how Toff and I initially made friends. Um, and I, I love that you're, you're picking up on that. And, and I absolutely do feel like these are the kinds of ideas that I want kids to be hearing when they listen to stories or watch shows. And uh, the truth is, I don't always see that in, you know, I'm a dad, I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old and, and a lot of the shows that are put out for kids are more just for like, you know, hyper stimulation um, and they don't necessarily have morals. Um, but so I, I'm really, really proud of Toph for, for telling a story that's at once magical and entertaining, but, simultaneously uh, sincere, uh, heartfelt story. Well, they're already getting me the wrap up, so, <laughs> but I loved it, I really did. And, you know, um, both of you were great in it. It really touched, touched my heart, the message. So thanks again for uh, having this time with me. Thank you, Amanda. Mm -hmm.